Hi guys, so we're just gonna jump right into this week's meal prep. So the first few items are gonna be for breakfast. I had some ripe bananas that I needed to use up, so I'm gonna be making some banana bread muffins. So in a bowl, I am combining one egg, one tablespoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of the Truvia brown sugar blend, three tablespoons of stevia. And then in another bowl, I have one and one quarter cup of self-rising flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of baking powder. So now I'm gonna combine the dry and wet ingredients together. And also I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of light butter that I melted. I use the, I can't believe it's not butter light. And in the uh, instructions, it does say to make sure you don't overmix this batter. So I mixed it till it was just combined. So now I'm gonna add my mix into a pan that I've sprayed with cooking spray. And then these need to bake for about 15 minutes at 350 degrees. And you can also make this into a bread as well. Each of these muffins is two smart points each. So this next recipe is a brand new one for me. It's a copycat version of the Starbucks egg bites. So in a blender, I am combining six whole eggs, three quarters of a cup of low-fat cottage cheese. I'm using the 2%, three quarters cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt, and one cup of fat-free cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna blend that up until it's nice and smooth. So I'm gonna pour that mixture into a bowl and to that I'm adding in two ounces of diced ham and a quarter of a diced red bell pepper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour those into the silicone mold that I got on Amazon. I've never used it before. This also came with a trivet to put in the bottom of the pressure cooker and a lid for the mold. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on the mold and then carefully put it into the pressure cooker. So I'm gonna close the lid and make sure my steam valve is closed as well. I'm gonna press the steam button and set my timer for nine minutes. And once that's done, then I wanna allow the steam to naturally release for 10 minutes before I release the rest of the pressure. And then once those are done, you wanna carefully remove these from the pressure cooker. It was really super hot, so just be really careful getting them out. And this made, egg 12, made 12 egg bites total, and each of them come in at one smart point each. So the final breakfast item I'm gonna make is a breakfast bake. I had some leftover seasoned hash browns to use up from last week. There was 15 ounces total in this bag that was left. So I'm gonna spread those onto a sheet pan that I did spray with some cooking spray. If your hash browns are not seasoned like mine, then you wanna season them with like garlic, salt, pepper, whatever seasonings you want. And they wanna go ahead and bake that in your oven at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Once that comes out of the oven, you wanna sprinkle one cup of fat-free cheeses so whatever or whatever cheese you want on top of that. And then I'm also adding four ounces of diced ham on top. So you wanna go ahead and make six wells where you're gonna put the eggs. So I kind of was just making six different places. And then you wanna crack your six eggs open into each of the wells. So you wanna bake that for another 10 to 12 minutes until the eggs are done. And then I also added on some onion salt and some red pepper flakes and then also some green onion on top. So this made six servings and it was three smart points per serving. I had this for breakfast today and it was so good. Highly recommend this. So next up, I'm gonna prep the lunch I'm gonna have this week, Philly cheese steak bowls. So in my skillet, I am cooking up two pounds of the 96.4% lean ground beef. And then once that has cooked through, I'm gonna drain off the grease and then put the meat into a bowl. And to that bowl, I'm adding in a half of a cup of no salt added beef broth and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So meanwhile, I am cutting up some bell peppers and also some onion. So to a hot skillet, I put in a couple of tablespoons of beef broth in there to saute up my veggies. And so now I'm gonna add in the veggies and I'm gonna cook those until they're nice and tender. I did put a lid on it and just kind of forgot about them for a little bit. So I get a lot of questions about how I measure out my servings for lunches and dinners. So for this recipe, since only the meat has points, I'm gonna weigh the entire batch of meat and divide it by the number of servings for this recipe. So this one happens to be six servings. And then I'm gonna divide that number by six to determine how many grams per serving. So this ended up being 124 grams per serving. Then I'm gonna weigh that amount into each of my meal prep bowls and then add the veggies on top. So that is how I figure out how I get my serving sizes. So I'm also gonna be adding on two slices of the ultra thin provolone cheese. 
So this recipe made six servings at four smart points per serving, and that does count the cheese as well. So let me know in the comments what you prepped for this week, and if you plan on trying any of these recipes, I will have links to all of these recipes in the description box as well as, as links to the meal prep containers and supplies that I use on a weekly basis. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!